Um, I want to uh, show some uh, fellow Mechanites friends out here um, some cool things you can do on your Mac. One thing I do, I, I spend a little time doing, I don't know if I'm obsessed with it, but I'm obsessed with the idea of generating your own footage. So there's different ways to get footage. You can shoot footage on a camera and that's great. You could stage it. Um, you know, like put a camera on some Lego characters and do that, that's kind of cool. Um, or you could uh, capture some footage already in your computer and uh, you could do some cool things with that. Uh, Cam Twist, where do you find it? It's at w, I'm sorry, http colon slash slash all a l l o c i n i t or just search Cam Twist in Google and you'll find it. Um, it's a really cool application on the Mac that lets you do some very cool things. Download it and have a blast. Now, be warned though, Cam Twist has a tendency to take over all your webcam functionality. So anytime you ever want to do uh, any kind of stuff in the future, um, you know, as far as any kind of webcam stuff, you're going to have to have Cam Twist on. It's one of the bad things about that. The other thing to search for um, is the WoW uh, model view for the Mac, version 3 Alpha. And uh, I'll post a link on this, but essentially do a search on Mac OS X WoW Model Viewer and you'll find this app. Okay, having said that, let's pretend that we actually have these things and let's launch WoW Model Viewer. Now, when you launch WoW Model Viewer, it's, first of all, you need to have World of Warcraft installed. Hopefully you've done that. Um, that's kind of important to have. Uh, once you run the application, it finds WoW and now you, the fun kind of begins. You can start doing some different things. You can browse all models or view characters. I'm going to view a character. Let's view characters. See what we got here. It's going to go in and they kind of load up some default characters for you to kind of mess around with or you can kind of create your own. Uh, I got one here. I want to look at this unnamed player here. Now, all we really, really want, and this is <laughs> totally simple and we've seen the Windows demos, is you're essentially looking for a green screen background like we have here. We have this nice big green screen background which you can change up here in the corner. Change the background. You can change anything. It could be black. We don't want black. We want bright green. Why? Because we can key out that green color. We can key that out in motion later on or in some other special effects software that you're going to mess with. I haven't actually done this on iMovie. So I wouldn't know how you do it on iMovie. But I think in iMovie 6 there's definitely some kind of key uh, tools out there that you can key that thing out on. Um, the cool thing from here is you can totally explore all kinds of different things you can do this guy. You know, we can get some new plate armor on him, change his helm, different things. I think the, uh, I think helms are different. Let's go ahead and put maybe a staff in his hand. You can turn him to the side so now you can see the different... You're thinking, you know, why would I want to do this? Well, why not? You could do some cool stuff. That's the whole point. Well, why? Just do it. Maybe a two-handed sword. He needs a two-handed sword. So, oh, there's that's kind of a nice two-handed sword. Maybe something even cooler. Uh, something really badass. Yeah, that's kind of bad. It was at the. That's the destiny. Did you ever have a destiny? Did you ever pay a lot of money for a destiny? Eh, I probably did. I think I ever bought a destiny actually. Um, that's a pretty big sword. Ooh, there's the nice one. Let's take that. Here's the claymore. What about this? Actually, you know what? A mace. Maces look really cool on, on mobs. Let's get a big giant two-handed mace. Something that says, I love you. Like that. Look at that. Alright, so you might think, so what? So you change a couple different weapons, big freaking deal. Well, the cool thing is, is uh, you can change everything about him. You can change his skin color, his facial. You can change him. Uh, you, you don't want an orc, you want a Dronani, whatever. There's a Dronani thing. Uh, you want a dwarf? Make him a dwarf. Dwarf looks kind of cool. Yeah. Personally, uh, I'm usually undead, so maybe Scourge. Yeah. Or uh, skeletons. Skeletons are always fun. Look at that. He's kind of neat. Uh, now, there's different things you can do. When you pick these different characters, they have all the animation files already built in. You can do a ton of different little things. 
So here is the motion of the two-handed move. We can change the camera any angle we want. We can capture all this. With Cam Twist, you can record all of this uh, and save it on your hard drive. Now you can do that with other capture programs. Maybe I show you, or um, there's Display Eater. There's uh, basically whatever app you've got uh, as far as capturing your desktop. Uh, I think there's like Snap Pros does uh, desktop capture as well. I use Cam Twist and then I capture it directly into iMovie, uh, which works out pretty movie, pretty good. So here, yeah, here we got this guy and he's swimming. It's kind of groovy, right? And the idea here is just to capture what you're creating to the desktop um, uh, or to uh, iMovie and then you can modify it. You save that out as a movie. But the important thing here, the most important thing is background color. Can't have it this. You could have that and it could key it out. And you could probably have this and key it out. But go with bright green because uh, it's usually a color that's not in the... Uh, and the big thing is you don't want to see the color anywhere in the actual creature itself. So you don't want to see it in the hammer, you don't want to see it in the shorts, none of his head. You don't want to see any of that. So you can mess around with a bunch of those different things. And there's a ton of different animations here. Um, and you know, what I do is I usually kind of figure out a perspective I want to capture and how I could use it. Knowing that in Motion 2, I can't necessarily go 3D with it. Now with Motion 3 and the 3D capabilities, I maybe could do some kind of cool 3D thing. But if I capture this motion right here with this whatever animation I'm capturing, this kind of view is what I'm going to get. So if I'm going to do any special effects, i got to do it with this perspective. Uh, same thing like this. That's kind of a cool perspective. Um, you have different controls up here. You can, you know... You know, zoom in, get maximum view, that kind of stuff. You can't really slow them down all that much, so you have to kind of grab it the way this is and maybe slow it down in some other program. Um, you know, just keep in mind what you're kind of grabbing. Like, I wouldn't grab it that, because that that's implying that he's going uphill. So that's kind of a, a wasted move. Maybe this, this is pretty good. Just always think about the plane that's happening right on here. The bottom of his feet, there's some kind of, think about it, he's walking on a hardwood floor, what would that look like? He's walking like this, he's walking on concrete or something. Gotta have that. Ooh, there's a crazy thing I just picked up. Oh, I just picked a, I picked up different mounts and that apparently didn't work. Whew. Now, uh, glad that's over. Now, occasionally I get some weird graphics errors on the Mac, it just, it just happens. Um, and I don't really let it bug me too much, to be honest. You know, I just don't. Anyway, so there it is. Grab a bunch of key backgrounds, do that thing, and uh, let's get out of well model viewer. That was cool. So you're probably going, so what? Well, the cool thing now happens in motion. And I might be able to actually find the original project. Let's see. Let's see if we can find the original project together. There's a you called Wow. Nope. Um, here's something called keyed well. Let's open this. It's not a good sign initially. Let's see. It's thinking, it's thinking about opening something. It's thinking, about, oh, there it goes. Bam. Ooh, what do I got here? What we have here, uh, this is motion. Now, for anybody who's using iMove Me and thinking it's groovy and whatnot, if you're having fun in iMovie 6, not 8, because 8's a different experience. If you're having fun in iMovie and you really want to do some cool stuff and you think that Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Pro Express or Final Cut Express is the next big thing to go do, I really recommend you go and check out Motion. Uh, because Motion is where you have, I, as, least, as far as where I'm concerned, I have the most fun in Motion. I do some crazy things in Motion. It's really, really a blast to have. Oh, no. My cat is like bitching up a storm. I don't know why. Basically, it wants to be held. Um, so what do we have here? Well, what you see in the background is a couple different things. Let's get this up here. You're thinking, what the hell is all that crap? Well, we have a couple different things. First of all, we have different, these are just different various animations that I've, I've captured. And they're not actually on a black background. They all are actually on the green background and they're all being keyed. Um, 
So let's look on. Here's the Goblin. Let's look at this one. Goblin has DV Matt Blast. DV Matt Blast is a like automatic keyer for WoW. I'm not saying keyer for WoW. It's automatic keyer for motion. Uh, it's a plug-in. It does real-time keying. Bam, on the fly, no rendering. It's really, really sweet. Extremely easy to use. Uh, let's go take a look at it. Here's the filters. DV Matt Blast. Turn off DV Matt Blast, and that's what it actually looks like. I've got this goblin, which is that green screen that we saw from before, right? He's just flying. That's all it is. He's sitting there flying. Let's click on DV Matte Blast. We can do a couple different things. We're going to turn it on. Obviously, uh, what I've done is I picked the high color, which was the original color in the background, which is that bright green. So it's picked up the right green. And it just automatically keyed it out. I didn't have to do anything else. I said composite. So that's what it looks like with the foreground. If I composite it, bam, it's done. If I turn on the background behind it, and there's, all I did was insert a graphic in the background, that's it. So I have this little background image, something I pulled off the web, it says fight the fighters, not their wars, and I've got a flying goblin in front of it, all done with WoW. Model Bueller and motion and key dot graphics. Pretty silly, pretty stupid, and kind of a lot of fun to play with. Um, so I've done a couple different things. Like here, I just have him flying, have him mess with it. Here I have an animation of a, uh, uh, I think it's one of the night, uh, the like undead critters, whatever, and she's just looking at Starbucks. <laughs> no reason. Just screwing around. The whole point is to screw around. You're not really focusing on anything. You're just trying to experiment. Um, here I was kind of playing around with some of the shadows, seeing how that worked. That was kind of cool. Um, here I've actually got an animation of him moving. If you see it, you can barely see the square that he's in moving with him. It's just kind of a drag. I need to get rid of that. That's not good quality. And then I just moved him as a mat. I just moved him down down the street. So I was like, okay, he's going to go down the street. Yeah. And that's kind of right now it's rendering those frames for preview. But, uh, but kind of cool. Uh, and then I have, uh, what do I have here? Then I have this guy. This guy is pretty cool. This was just an elemental. And I put him into an over, a still that already had the kind of, uh, atmosphere I wanted. In fact, I don't think that's the actual graphic still. I think I actually mapped that color to match him better, which worked out okay. And I bet iMovie's gonna crunch on me. I bet iMovie's dying. Anyways, uh, here I've got. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, well, maybe I didn't finish this one. Did I finish you guys? I should have finished you. Sure, what's going on there? Not sure what's going on there. Anyways, the point is, uh, there's some cool stuff. Oh yeah, here at the end, this is really cool. I bet iMovie's having a hard time saving this file while this thing's playing back a file because we're trying to record video at the same time this thing's trying to play back. Um, here was kind of a cool one where we've got this one of these blizzard beak critters people, whatever. He's sent out the bottom stairs, and he's about to cast a spell, whatever. Um, you can actually play with all that stuff. You can start really modifying um, how these guys look. I mean, obviously, you can import them in as an animation, but then you can start applying effects on them, and that and that, that starts to be kind of cool fun, too. First, let's go ahead and close this so we don't get chewed up any more RAM. I'm not going to say that because I don't want anything to do with you. And let's go and open Roy. I think Roy's on here. Roy might be another WoW experiment in motion. So the big things here are DV Matte Blast, which you may or may not need. I liked it, so I bought it. About 65 bucks, and it's just really fun for instant keying. Um, I'm not really sure. I always like looking at older projects. What do we got here? Apparently, we got Roy doing something, and he's missing. I got a Roy file that's missing. I bet it's just him. And I bet I could, um, I bet I could replace him with, uh, one of these, one of these wild files. Let's import this one here. So I've imported the, uh, Beak Bitches. That's what I call that file. Nice. Let's go ahead to the file that needs to be replaced. Let's go into Inspector. And it says, hey, there's nothing here. I'm going to slap Roy there. There he is! Big bitches. Just insert. Bam. 
the uh, attributes copied right over and there you go right there in the viewer he's in so here I was messing around with the flaming font uh, this character kind of imported and then the background uh, just kind of screwing around so you can start playing around and create some pretty cool ensembles with this old dealio and um, you can have fun with all that anyway so that's uh, screwing around so your list of things to get cam twist gotta have it uh, motion you really should have it if you want to have a lot of fun on the Mac um, what else? Oh, wow, model viewer. Gotta have that. We're gonna have a lot of fun there. Uh, what else? That's it. DV Mat Blast. It's a nice thing to have. Go on the web. There's lots of cool tutorials. Uh, Motion 3 is apparently awesome, and I need to get it. I don't know.